Welcome back, guys, for another episode of Mafia 2. We left off. Um, uh, we talked to Giuseppe, and I think we're trying to steal a car. Let's just get straight to it. Come on. Go out the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. Okay. Also, guys, if you have played this game before, and if you guys have played the old version right and this new version, what do you guys think? Is it is it like closed? Is it like like, Turn around, about, it's the other way. How do you guys like, like it? How do you guys like this, this new version? I'm just asking. Put it down in the comments. Where are we going again? Oh yeah, we're trying to steal that car. So how does it feel to be back? Good. I feel a lot better with some money in my pocket. Hey, what's the rush? Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Get the fuck out of here. I was just fucking with you. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just oh. the beginning. Pretty I soon you'll be rolling. My seat. So, Sand Island's still the same shithole it was when I left? No, no, the place actually ain't too bad now. Oh shit. How the hell that happened? All the moolies flew south for the winter. Of damn course it, damn it, damn it. it's still a shithole, Vito. You've only been gone a couple of years. It's gonna take a lot longer than that for that Who neighborhood you to, to turn drive? around. Them people multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? It's even worse than when we was kids. They even got some kind of gang there now. What's their fucking name? Uh, the Beamers, the Boomers, something like that. I don't fucking know. No, oh, that's just fucking great. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope and kill each other. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that pistol. Oh, by the way, pistol. you're carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business without it these days. Especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence, you know that? Pistol. Kind of like how he says he says it. Or in pistol, it's pistol. Can't really see anything. Like it's so snowy. I'm pretty sure. I think after a couple chapters. I think after chapter three, that's when we start. Um, when it's not you know winter anymore. I think. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've played. I think we're close by. <laughs> All right, we're here. It's that cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for you back at Mike's. What if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear the hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Right. He's got a gun. <laughs> oh God. Oh, oh shit. Ah, uh, I should have taken out my gun. Damn it. What you doing, motherfucker? Shoot at him. I shot him while he's falling. Oh, 
peek out, peek out, peek out. I saw red in the map, so I, I tried to like kill all, all of them before I get out. Peek out. Last one, last one. There we go. Again. I don't want this video to get copyrighted. Come on. Oh, you got your stuff. What the hell? Move. Yes. There we go. I remember too, there's sometimes that if they shot, if they get lucky and then shot the gas tank, you'll see it like they're running out of like gas so quick. Oh, don't get hit, don't get hit. I try, every time I drive something, I try not to damage the car. Unless it's necessary. Such a bad driver. I'm kind of glad that um, that they actually made a remastered or of this game because if I'm if I'm right, there's a, there was a lot of people that loved this game. It was just not me. So I'm kind of I'm glad I'm kind of glad that they remastered this game. Just seeing everything all over again, it just like brings back memories. How, okay, quick question too, guys. How old are you guys when the old version of this game came out? 2010, if you guys don't know. 2010. Okay, uh, how old was that? Like, 13, I think? When this game came out? Back then, it was like amazing. It was like the most amazing game I've ever played. Wait, was it? Was this? Yeah, I was 13. Okay. I was like, I'm like second guessing myself. I was like, was I actually 13 when this game came out? Hey, hey, mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Ah, uh, probably the bombers. 
Hunter's their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. No stains. Clean. Where the lowlife get the money for this? Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? 600. <laughs> oh, I like you, buddy, Joe. Here's your 400 bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. That's a lot of money. Well, back then, it was a lot of money. By a country road, wild roses grow. That need my special on. I have to keep turning on off the radio. I think we're going back to Joe's place. We should take the highway, Vito. I am, I am, I am. All right, you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah, but I almost got my ass kicked. I didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Nah, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all going to be a piece of cake. So, uh, what's the story with Bruski? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time, we was at the track, and some mix spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks. He oh, my God. In pursuit of a hit run driver. Hey, you just got an out of hand for these people. Roger that. And Mike's a pussycat Why? compared to some of the guys I met since you shipped out. You'll see. Ah. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Ten four. Oh my god, I hate this. So stupid. So much crashes. This car is really broken. Yeah. I'm so close too. I was hey, so is close. there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? Park it. And let's go to the apartment. The second, second floor? Oh, no, it's a third floor. If you're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. Yes, because I need to replenish my you're health. Hungry, Vito. Take whatever you want from the fridge. Yeah, thanks. Cool. Is that it? And yeah, we'll use the bed. Crash from the kitchen. 
chapter 3. Then we're going by this game quicker. We're already in chapter 3. Like, including the first episode and. Or not episode, the first part and this one. We're like just over an hour on this game. Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. All right, time to go to the docks. Oh, uh, uh, hi there. What's the matter? Nothing good on the radio? Mind your beeswax, kid. That is so creepy now. <laughs> Just hey, listening in. in hey, turn that down in there. Hey, turn that down in there. He's gonna keep doing that. Okay. If you don't turn that crap down, I'm gonna call the cops. Okay, I don't think he's stopping. Hopefully that's on they didn't get copyrighted, Jesus. Oh my Woo! We got the We got more than one car. Wait, is this Is the one from Mafia 3! Dang! I'm gonna use this beat up car though. Oh, wait, wait, wait! I can actually get it repaired? Okay, cool. I was like, can we get it repaired at the... We can get it repaired at the garage. That's cool. I thought I have to go to... A repair shop to get it fixed. Well, someone trip, someone slip. Right. Hopefully, it's not that far. Hopefully. Oh. I just hit my mic. Hopefully, you guys didn't hear that. Thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use the, the other car when it's needed, but we don't really need the fast car right now. I don't think we need the fast car right now. Everybody gonna be slow. Oh, someone just got a crash! Someone just got crashed right there. I saw that. Yeah, if this is New York, like now, it's like it's not gonna. This this traffic is not gonna be like. It's gonna be different. New York is not that this easy to drive in. Well, it's Empire Bear Bay, Empire Bay. Not really New York. Should 
be it. Yeah, this is all mus muscle memory. I just knew where to go. Well, close the door. It's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You could call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, follow me. Okay. Oh, hey. I'm not gonna take that. Because <laughs> if you guys didn't know, there's like uh, Playboy magazines in this game. And some of them are pretty, you know, it's Playboy. If you guys don't know what Playboy is, it's it's a magazine full of, uh, you know, nude women. That's what it is. And I'm not going to pick those up because Load this pile sure. of crates under that truck. Pretty sure when YouTube you're done, you get gonna... 10 bucks. If something gets bucks. lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Jeez. But yeah. Uh, those magazines are pretty lewd. I'm not gonna pick them up. Because I don't want this video getting <laughs> getting deleted. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? We can just leave? How about if we put the whole, like, each one? Oh no, I think, uh... If I remember, he gets fed up. Jeez, all this for ten lousy bucks? You gotta be kidding me. We'll keep putting it un until he gets he gets uh, he gets fed up loading crates. Oh my god! It's still that weird clipping when you're dropping oh, boxes. Guys, stand this. I'm doing crates. this for five fucking minutes. I already hate it. Yeah, that's that's really that's a bad wage. Ten bucks just to move the crates. Well. I don't know, maybe back then it's all right, but I don't think. Yeah, now it's just yeah, no, no, I'm gonna do that for ten bucks. What can I? But if I do remember, he's just like gets fed up with it and he doesn't even care and just like leave. Don't. What? I don't need this chicken shit money. Alright, there we go, he got fed up. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit, nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. Okay, 
I just drop Joe's name? Still there. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want to load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Might not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. i talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it in the Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Uh, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. True. Ooh, true. All right. Let's get that money. All right. Let's talk to this guy. <clears throat> I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. Hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe and you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. How do I push him? Oh, oh there we go. <coughs> oh, God. Here's your fucking money. That was. Yeah, I'm glad you decided to reconsider. Hey, pal, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. 
Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Crack his skull! Kick his ass! Oh. Okay. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? There we go. Take the cash back. That wasn't so bad. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Uh, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Hey, say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. Hey, Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. Okay. Oh, now I got an achievement. He who pays the barber. Go to Freddy's. Oh, someone slipped again. Actually, actually, I'll end the episode here, guys. It was like an actual, I should have ended there, but I'll end the episode here, guys. We'll continue it in the next part or next episode. And we'll meet at Freddy's at the next one. Alright, guys, subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!